Yo, what's going on, everybody? Los here, coming back at you with another video. And it's unboxing number 66. And I got these goodies right here. So if you want to know what I got, you know what to do. Hop on that train, take a journey with me. So we're back, and like I said, it's another unboxing video. And as you can see, I have a nice, well, I guess it's, that I hope it's a nice new setup. Um, you guys let me know what you think of the of the new uh, layout uh, in the comments down below. Trying something a little different, trying to, you know, spice it up and actually make it look like this is an actual comic book channel. <laughs> um, so let me know what you guys think. And uh, so with that, Let's get into the unboxing. Um, some of these books, I, I think I know what they are. Um, not sure which package is which. Um, they've been sitting here for a little while. So, I don't know. We're going to see together which one is which. Um, obviously, you've seen one. It's a J. Scott Campbell. Um, but, you know, we'll open that up as it comes along. So, let us... You know what? I'll throw these right there. And let's open up the first one. All right, we're back from that. Sorry about that. That was uh, pretty long. They actually packaged up pretty well. Um, a lot of tape, but there was a lot of pull tabs, so I appreciate that. And um, while we're doing that, let's switch over to the comic cam. And the first book up is this guy right here and that is exiles number three um this is i the first you know peggy carter um as you know captain america um it's not the um what if like animated one um you know i think her suit is just like a little different um this one might be a little closer to the one that was in um, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Um, but regardless, um, I believe this is her first appearance. Um, this book obviously got hot for a little while there when the movie was out. Um, since that's passed, this book has you know come crashing back down. So, book that I always wanted to get. Um, I thought she was a pretty cool character, and um, you know happy to scoop this up um, when it's you know on the on the down turn uh, right that's when you want to pick up some of these key issues um you want to pick them up when you know the book is starting to go down um in price you know trying to never to buy a book when uh you know trailer or a movie is coming out with the character because that's when the book is going to spike in price all right so thought that was pretty cool there all right let's open up the next one All right. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> We're back. And um, these two books, I believe I bought them from uh, Macari. And um, it was a nice little two book lot, books that I've been looking for. And the person actually threw in an extra book. And that is Justice League number 32. Um, I believe this is part of the Death, um, the Dark Knights Metal um, like run, that little uh, storyline that happened. Um, and, um, uh, yeah, nice little tie in, um, you know, always appreciate, um, when the seller throws in a free book and onto the books that I wanted. And the first one up is Wonder Woman 611. And this is the one in 10, uh, Alex Gardner variant. Um, I've been trying to pick up, um, that entire run that he had from like 601 to 614. Um, I think most of the books in there he did. Um, I think there might have been one that it wasn't an Alex Gardner 1 in 10. It was like another artist. Um, but I'm trying to pick up the, that entire run. Um, these are books that if you don't know it's a 1 in 10, um, it, it just looks like a different cover from the original. Uh, so um, these are all pretty cool. I believe the original um, are all done by like um, uh, Joshua Middleton, uh, which are all cool covers too. But 
I'm trying to collect all these one in tens. I already have some of like the more expensive ones, uh, like 614 is, is the, the most expensive one. Um, and I believe there's a couple other ones that are a little more pricey, but if I could snag all the rest of them on the cheap, that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I did with these two. I believe I got both of these, uh, two, two book lots. And I think I got them both for, I don't know, 11 bucks <laughs> or something like that. And then we have, uh, 612. So just amazing covers. Um, it's funny when I first seen a few of these, uh, covers, especially like 614, I actually thought they were Alex Ross. <laughs> um, and uh, when I looked them up, they were, they were Alex Gardner. So uh, definitely happy to have these in the PC. And I believe I am four books short of collecting all, all of them. I think I'm missing 601, 604, 609, and then 613. I believe those are the four books I have left. And then I'll have the entire series. On to the next one. All right, and the next one up, um, again, another, um, I kind of got into a uh, DC 1 in 10 variant uh, kick uh, as of late, and um, just that in that whole era of like, I think it was like 2009 to 2010 or something like that, maybe even 2011, um, DC was doing a bunch of 1 in 10s, and again, they weren't labeled, they weren't even labeled as a variant, it doesn't even say it anywhere on there, it just says an issue, and that's it. So you had to know that it was a variant cover. And again, this is uh, another run that I've been trying to get. I feel like it's been slept on. Nobody's picking these up. And this entire run had some amazing artists. You know, different artists were doing a bunch of them. And this one um, is just a gorgeous David Mack cover. Uh, so this is Justice League of America number 45 from 2010. And just a gorgeous gorgeous david mack i love david mack um you know i i love how he does almost like this watercolor um you know style and um yeah I mean, I, i'm not sure if this is one of his early early works but um you know obviously from 2010 14 years ago um just an amazing cover uh happy to have that in the pc um slowly closing in on this run as well i know there's some very very big ones in this one like issue number 42 is a big one that's you know a lot of money uh and you know obviously that's gonna be one that i'm gonna have to work on but for now i'll pick up all the smaller ones <laughs> and i will say so far all the books have been packaged extremely well so kudos to everybody that i bought from I might have to go back and actually save those sellers because I see that they package very well. All right, so this next one up, um, as you can kind of tell from the box, um, this was from uh, the J. Scott Campbell uh, website. So recently uh, he put out a few variants and, um, I, you know, I've been... Trying to uh, avoid his website, not because I don't love J. Scott Campbell, uh, just that, you know, I tend to overindulge on some of his variants. Um, but there was a couple that I found that a lot of times his books sell out on his website, like his, some of his store exclusives. And, um, you know, in the third, you know, aftermarket, they sell for pretty good money. So being that i'm on you know you sign up for his newsletter you get like a discount before you buy the books and um you know these were no different got a little discount um and you know sometimes you feel like there's books that will sell in, in the aftermarket um and um i think this is no different so we have uh spider gwen ghost spider number one um, obviously is the j scott campbell store exclusive and um he you can buy you know, this is cover a or you could buy the set, which came with the Virgin variant as well. Uh, so it was a nice little two pack. Um, picked both these up because I thought this was just a, you know, just a gorgeous J. Scott Campbell cover. And um, you know, if one set is good, another set is better. So both books are packaged together in a little two pack. Uh, so I'm not gonna take them out. You've seen them both, um, and you know, obviously I'll probably keep one set 
um, sell the other set. I might even split it up and maybe like keep just like the, the trade dress and sell the Virgin as well on its own. Who knows? Uh, but as I said, sometimes those always, you know, sell pretty good. And if I can move those to buy other books that I, you know, really want in the collection, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I know, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, it's a dirty flipper and whatever. And it's like, you know, I was able to acquire it and I paid for it when it came out. And if it happens to go up in value because, you know, obviously supply and demand, I'm going to, you know, take advantage of it. Why not? Right. I'm not going to squeeze somebody. I'm going to sell it for, um, I'm going to sell it for fair market value, right? Whatever, you know, everybody else is they're selling for, I'm usually going to go with that. Um, sometimes I even give a little deal and go under that, but you know, I, I, I bought them with the intention of, you know, keeping maybe one or two and then selling the other ones, right? So I can go out and buy other ones. I'm trying to fund the hobby, right? Um, as everybody's trying to say. And on to uh, the last book. All right. And the last book um, is just a, a sweet, sweet cover. Um, and that is this guy right there. And that is New Avengers number 20. And that is the Venomized uh, variant cover. So this was, um, I think the artist was Delgado. Um, I'll try to put it somewhere up on the screen. Uh, but this was back, um, and I'll try to look up the year. But these were before um, they started doing a lot of like the other Venomized covers and, um, you know, a lot of the Carnage Eyes covers and stuff like that. This was the, like the, that first run where they started, um, you know, Venomizing covers. These are the ones that were like, you know, the 1 in 20s and the 1 in 25s and all that stuff. And um, these are the ones that actually, you know, fetch pretty good money, right? There's some other ones that are very expensive. But I think, I feel like these original ones that came out uh, just have better covers. Uh, I feel like they were a little more creative. And, um, you know, trying to pick these up whenever I can on the cheap because obviously they could be very expensive um just because they're harder to find um you know not a lot of stores were ordering you know one in 20s one in 25s back then uh, so it's a lot harder to find these and um got this on a great deal um you know the person had this listed for i think close to a hundred dollars and all of a sudden they almost cut it in half um if not more than that and then they still had best offer available i sent the best offer and they accepted immediately so um, obviously they were holding it for a while they wanted to move it and i got a great deal on it so happy to have this in the pc uh, like i said just a gorgeous uh, venomized cover and trying to pick these up whenever i can all right so that was the unboxing hopefully you guys enjoyed the books let me know what you guys thought what was your favorite uh book that i picked up also let me know about the layout if you guys like this if you want to see something different or if you think it's pretty cool all right and until next time, talk to you guys later. Peace.